This is the typical example for the two-dimensional list. Look at here. X is the variable which equals to this expression. Our main list is here, from here up to here. This is my main list. Now the element of this list is a list by itself. Look at here. From here up to here is one list. From here up to here is another list. From here up to here is a third list. But for the main list, it considers a single element or a single item. This is my second single item. This is my third single item for the outer list, for the main list, for this list. So this whole information has been saved with the name X, which is identifier, a variable, or a placeholder in the computer memory. Whenever you want to access this information, you need to call to the X. It is the identifier. It is the identification. It is the tag. It is a label for this whole expression. So that is the reason we call it the two-dimensional list two-dimensional list because remember all the elements all the elements of the lists are the lists so which means that we have list within the list therefore we call it 2d two-dimensional list if you remember last time we had only numbers or any uh, strings but this time each item and each element of the list is a list so we have lists within the list and that is the reason we call it two-dimensional list I hope you got the point now.